for a second. I know you guys want to sit here and listen to him. But Alright. I'm going to be excited so you guys can hear it. Uh, Alright. Turn this off. Well. Let me uh, <laughs> Sorry. Let me, let me uh, Woo. Man. Is it fucking hot in here? Let me turn that off. Uh, ah. All right, yeah, I'm a little disorganized this morning. Uh, a lot going on. Some of you know, some of you don't. I'm opening up an, uh, an Emer store, an online store, because I'll be selling now. Um, but I was, oh, no, don't get me wrong. I'm still giving away on the show. Um, what I don't give away on the show is what I'll be selling. So you guys are getting it firsthand here first. So to beat the store prices, better start watching. Well, I don't know how you'll watch if you don't know what's going on. <laughs> if you're not watching, you don't know this. So, but anyways, it's called Addie's Attic. And um, I'm caught in between two different websites that I want to build with. Big Cartel and um, who's the other one? Big Cartel. Big Cartel is nice. I just don't like the fact they didn't give you a, a, a domain name free. So now i got to go find a domain name and pay for that. I'm trying to do it as, as inexpensive as possible. And, uh, well, you're a cheap motherfucker. <laughs> no, man, yeah, I am cheap. You wouldn't be if you could get it for free. You know, and it's, there is no, you know, you get what you pay for because a lot of these companies that are giving away uh, domain names are uh, reputable companies. Shopify and all that shit, man. I mean, if you, you know, go with them. and uh, But there's only limited amount of companies that where you can join, build a website, and get a, a, a domain name for free. And that's what I got to do. I got to locate it. And it just takes time. But in the process, I'm digging through everything, pulling everything out. And, uh, and it's in order to get my store off the ground, I may have to sell even my personal sports memorabilia. <sighs> but you got to start somewhere, right? You will never know if you'll become successful if you don't take the chance. And if I do take the chance and I do fail... Well, at least I'll know the weak spots where I failed and I can strengthen them and start over again. Take out 40 million loans like I did for school. <laughs> but I'm no longer in school, so. But I reapplied to a couple different schools. So, but that's a whole nother topic. So, um, we'll get into that another time. So, <laughs> but anyways, we're going to open this up because I'm going to make this a short one. Let me see the time, okay. I'm going to make this a short one here. Uh, um, I still have, nobody has commented, nobody has yet to comment on getting that mystery pack. What is wrong with you guys, man? You guys don't want free shit, man? So you really mean to tell me you just tune in to look at my ugly melon? No fucking way. <laughs> You're clinically insane if that's the case, man. Why the fuck that? I want something out of the deal if you gotta look at me. <laughs> Shit, that's my two ex-wives. <laughs> They'll tell you. <laughs> so, uh, they took half. <laughs> but, anyways, um, so anyways, uh, well, the second one didn't. I don't know, the first one didn't either. I'm both fucking loony though. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's get to these. And if you see one you like, all you gotta do is comment, subscribe, and ask for it. There you go. Whoever said that out there, man. Someone's up this morning at time is it? Oh, 3.20 in the morning. Okay, cool. So, alright, uh, 
Clayton Kershaw, which we all know who he plays for. Got a ring. Right, LA, the Dodgers. Beautiful card. Beautiful. Look at his look at his stance, man. Look at that. I mean, his his positioning before his release, his posture, his what I like to call his focal point. That's awesome, man. Looks like a stork. <laughs> Don't he look like a stork? <laughs> but he's a stork with a World Series motherfucking ring. Ain't that right, Kershaw? <laughs> Shit. Um, oh, God, I love you, man. It's a uh, optic um, panini. It's a Mike Trout. God, man, Mike Trout cards are awesome. Mike Trout's an awesome player. He's going, you know, he'll now have no problem making Cooperstown. None. Matter of fact, he may even own it <laughs> by now. <laughs> Pete Alonzo. Sorry, I thought it was I thought it was a Yankee for a second. You know how I feel about them Yankees. <laughs> I look exceptionally good this morning. I just rolled out of bed too like a tumbleweed. I feel like John Wayne, at least my breath does. Ooh, this is one of them old canvas cards, man. Wow, this thing's beautiful. Holy fuck. Mel Ott. Mel Ott, as you all know, played in the 1910s, uh, like 1912 or something. Let me find out. It should say on the back of this. Uh, yeah, like 1920, actually in the 20s. But look at that. And it's got a frame. It's perforated. Perforated. <laughs> Sorry. But it's, yeah, it's, it's perforated. So it actually feels like a frame. It's a beautiful card, man. Beautiful card. Oh, you know how I feel when they're turned backwards. Like that. What's that mean? Got a banger. So let's see. Uh, yeah, nice card. Will Smith. I'm not too fond of the team either. Atlanta Braves, so... But it is numbered. It is a number card. It's uh, 111 out of 264. It's medium, but still it's numbered. You don't have it. <laughs> I do. If you want it, ask for it. Oh, old school. Piazza. He don't have a World Series ring. <laughs> he was with the Dodgers. Unless he's with the uh, organization itself, like a... Um, some type of coach, manager of some sort in the, maybe in front office, and he ain't got no ring. He's still a fucking hell of a pitcher, though. I remember when that fucking him and Roger Clemens got into it. Yeah. Broken bat. He has to throw the bat at him and shit, or the bat, he broke the bat, and the bat went out towards Clemens. Okay, well, Mike Piazza's swinging the ball and your fucking fastball, change up, whatever it was, broke my bat and the shit flies out towards him. So, fucking Clemens, the fucking shit mouth he has, says something to Piazza. Well, let me tell you something. Piazza ain't no little dude. <laughs> and at the time, Clemens, you were not no big dude. You just had the fucking team behind you. And, uh, well, Piazza, you know, wasn't standing for it. Now don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of both of them. I just think Roger Clemens was wrong for fucking saying what he said. Can't help it with the door the fucking piece of the bat flies. Oh, man. I don't have this one either. Shane Bieber. You weren't getting it anyways. <laughs> Cleveland. It's an optic, though. Look at that optic, man. Now, I got the Diamond Kings regular. I don't have the optic, though. Yeah, that's beautiful. Trevor Williams. Plays for my favorite National League team, which is the... But... Pirates, right. But... <laughs> Pittsburgh. Beautiful card, man. Nice release right there. 
I would say with this pitch, he's going for a curve. Just by his stance, the way he's releasing it. Got an MVP card for a Yankee. Ooh, that hurt bad. Oh. Yeah. yeah, fucking Yankees. Hideki Matsu. E. He don't know no better. He's a foreigner. <laughs> he doesn't know no better to be in pinstripes. He thinks it's great to be in pinstripes. Well, you're wrong, Matt. Matsui, you're wrong. Now, let me ask a couple of you out there. Cleveland's thinking about taking on the Cleveland Spiders, I think, which was their original name back in fucking 1904 or whatever it was, 1903. The original baseball name for the Cleveland Indians was the Cleveland Spiders. Well, that's what they want to refer back to now. They don't want the word Indians in there. Well, then you better take the Braves out, too. And then you better take the Florida Marlins out of there, too, because the Marlins, the fish might want to protest and have their feelings hurt and, 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 you know, make mad people circles and all that bullshit. You motherfuckers are something else taking our fucking Indians name away from us and our chief Wahoo. You guys make me sick. Your, your grandparents didn't care. Your parents didn't care. All of a sudden, your feelings are hurt. Well, that just shows me one thing about you. You're soft. You're a soft motherfucker, man. You buckle, man. Remind me not to rob a bank with you. Because you buckle. Fucking soft-ass motherfuckers. My, my, my heritage, my heritage. What about my people? I'm Jewish. <laughs> what about my people? Don't see me crying. You know? About sh anything. About shit. I mean, we don't have no, you know, uh, fucking... Uh, you know, the Cleveland Hebrews or anything like that. We don't have no team named after us, but there's a lot of things out there that are related to my uh, ethnic background, but you don't see me crying and protesting and all that bullshit because it is what it is. It's, it's life. Wake up. Who cares? God damn, get over it. Get over yourself. Took my fucking Indians names. My fucking Cleveland Indians names, right? You goddamn right I'm pissed, man, about the shit. Brandon Crawford. <laughs> God damn it. It's a uh, season ticket card. Beautiful card. You motherfuckers are so sensitive all of a sudden about shit. But you weren't sensitive when uh fucking dude called you out your name in front of your family or something like that. Or somebody cut in front of you in line in a grocery store. You just let him go because you're soft. You gotta have a group, an elite group of people behind you, man, backing you up to support you, man. Can't do nothing on your own. Fucking maggots. Took my Cleveland Indians away. Took a, 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 tens of thousands of beloved Cleveland Indians fans. You took their, you took, you took their team away, man. Their name. I'm still gonna love them. Whatever. I don't give a fuck if they don't have a name. I'm still gonna love my team. But to do that, man, I don't see how you fucking sleep with yourself at night. We're going to protest and take your kids' names away from you. <laughs> How's that? You ain't gonna, Your kids ain't going to have names no more. They're just going to be blank and blank. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Oh, back to this, man. Boy, that fucking... Brandon Crawford, man. <laughs> oh, got a number card. No, ooh, low number two. Oh, shit. It's a Larry Walker card. Yeah. Beautiful card. Wow, man, this thing's fucking pristine. It's, oh, I'm sorry. It's, uh, number 13 out of 175. See? 13 out of 175. Um, and last but not least, George Springer, man. He plays for Houston. Beautiful cards of Prism. You know I love the Prisms. You know I want to make love to the Prisms. Not to you, George, but the Prisms. <laughs> All right, that's it, man. I'm, I'm fueled up, man. You know, I saw that article, man. You know, the, what, what do you think about going back to the Cleveland Spiders and shit like that? I was just like, I shook my head. We shouldn't even have be discussing this. This article shouldn't even be fucking in front of me, man. You know? And you're goddamn right, I'm stingy. You're going to take ours away? You better take the Braves 
and whoever else got anything, you may as well take the Florida Seminoles football college team away. May as well take them away too, man. You'll see the Seminoles crying about the shit. May as well take the, 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 the Chicago Blackhawks. Because they got a picture of a fucking, uh, an Indian on it with a fucking mohawk. With a, you better. <laughs> Motherfuckers, man. Better take all the Indian shit away. On every fucking sports franchise. I ain't sensitive. I'm pissed. So, with that being said, a good fuck you, man. Keep your animals hydrated. Check on the senior citizens. And, um... If you see something you like, ask for it. You ain't gonna fucking get it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you see something you like, ask for it. I'll send it to you or you can pick it up as long as you ain't no fucking... Well, I don't know. You can be a freak, I guess. <laughs> as long as you're a female. So, but anyways, uh, stop by, pick it up, whatever. Um, no shout-outs. I'm gonna chill with the shout-outs for a minute, man. It's becoming repetitious. I'm gonna change this format of the show up a little bit. I'm gonna... Fucking do something here. Oh, the online store. You will be the first to know when it's actually officially up and going. So, it's called Addie's Attic. Addie's Sports Attic, actually. And, um... I'll be selling a lot of sports memorabilia. Mostly cards. At the at the best price that you can find them at. And if, 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 you, if I can't beat the price, you show me the price on whatever site it is. And I'll fucking give it to you for cheaper than them. I'm not saying it could be a penny. It could be a dollar. I don't know. But you'll get it cheaper. Just like the fucking cheap motherfuckers that took my Cleveland Indians away. Motherfuckers. Yeah. Fucking make me sick. <laughs> you know who you are. I know it wasn't none of the two people that watched this show. <laughs> so, with that being said, man, thanks for tuning in. And I'm going to change the format of the show up a little bit. I'm going to get it hype. I'm going to get it hype. I just got this fucking um, GoPro fucking editor app. I am gonna start. I started fucking with it a little bit. And I'm going to fuck it. I'm going to put some of Don Foose's fucking Foose. Uh, maybe some Run Devil Run. Uh, 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 One Life All In videos in here, man, like I've been promising. And um, I'm going to start getting some motherfuckers in here, man. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call Derek Jeter up, Jeff Bagwell. A Rod, I'm gonna get Piazza and fucking Clemens in here and throw it, have them throw on the fucking boxing gloves. <laughs> we'll rate my room. The, the, the ring will be my fucking studio room. See who will win. Who do you think would win? If Roger Clemens and Mike Piazza got in the ring and there was three rounds of no below the he belt hit, you know, but. You know, regular kind of boxing. I mean, you know, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, they're not like trained to hit perfectly. But who do you think would win, Clemens or Piazza? That's a good question. I'm gonna start asking questions like that. Maybe I could stir the shit pot up in the fucking sports world. With that being said, peace. <laughs>